Now I have been reading the comments and trust me, I'm well aware how you guys feel about my wheels and uh, we are gonna be addressing that very soon. After the wrap gets done, we're addressing the wheels. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part three of wrapping up the TRD Pro here in the brand new color from KPMF, the Matte Ice Titanium Amber, which a lot of you guys are asking when this color comes out, where can you find it? The color isn't out quite yet. They're unveiling it at SEMA this year, end of October. And then you guys can get hands on the new color. I also want to say thank you and huge shout out to everyone showing some love on this new color. I didn't mean to just show love to the the haters in the last video it was just funny how this one dude is so set in one way thinking there's only one way to wrap a car but anyways yes thank you to everyone showing some love i appreciate that glad you guys are loving the color and huge thank you to kpmf for sending me this roll they gave me a selection of any of their new colors to choose from and i chose the amber when i saw that one i was like dude that's 100 the one i'm going with when i saw it it was right away it was over so bedside bumper corner let's roll things get fun because now I'm going to do the two passenger doors here and the rocker panel and that's going to connect the wrap here on the fenders on the front to the bedside in the back and get the whole right side looking done and then all it's left to do is throw the fender flares on and the hood badge but I'm going to reinstall the fender flares and the hood badges at the very very end to just be like the cherry on top of all the wrap being done but it'd be awesome to connect the front wrap here on the fender to the bedside get the whole thing all finished out I can't I can't wait to see it Let's pop off the uh, door handles the mirrors, the window trims, pretty much it. And we'll start laying down some more of the wrap. Day two of work, no call, no show. We almost fired you, dude. <laughs> but I guess we'll let it slide this time. Thank you, appreciate that. Phillips head right there, a uh, Phillips right there, and a Phillips in the door handle well as well. So three Phillips heads. So for the back door handle, it's kind of different in the front one. So just like in the front, though, you release this clip right there, and then there's a, uh, a Torx hiding behind this hinge right here. So we have to pull this off with these three T25s. Of the way and now right up in there deep in the abyss is a t25 holding on the door handle when you unscrew this t25 there's a catch so it won't fall on the door very nicely engineered I, would say. I feel like everything on this truck was nicely engineered with like disassembly in mind so something really important to note is all of these arrows um, have to go one direction so we're gonna basically point the arrows all the way uh, to the right all the way around the truck it's a directional film. If we were to put this up against the truck, you'll see that the uh, the color matches up perfect. So if you rotate it, now you guys can probably tell the color is a little bit different. Not by much in here, but out in the sun, you guys will see it. Not by much, but it's definitely noticeable out in the sun, especially when the uh, directions changed and we don't keep it consistent. So, all right, Sunny, get right to it. Start laying that, that panel down. Give you some tools. Sure. Give you your best shot. Let's go. Start peeling. There it is. <laughs> there you go. Little, little aggressive, but okay. <laughs> That'll do. Now glass the film. Come on. Corner to corner. Oh gosh. Wrinkle galore. And there you go. Nice. Check 
Sierra? Mm, yeah, I did. <laughs> Arrow is checked. Oh, paranoid. It is going towards the front. We're good. Thank you, Sonny. Alright. What you think? It's good. Should have wrapped it in pink, but still. As I was pulling this thing off, that's why I got four band-aids on right now because prying this thing off the door cut me wide open. A lot sharper than it looks, but it's like a solid, I don't know what, aluminum? Yeah. Some kind of metal. Yeah. And it just, as I'm, as I'm pulling it off, it went straight into my skin and cut me wide open, so. Careful with this and TRD Pros. I guess I made it something different. Only thing left to do now is that cab corner and the uh, the front pillar leading yeah. to the back. But dude, this is insane. It's crazy. Like when I'm doing it, it doesn't it doesn't hit the same way as having it before and after. Like it's a very gradual process. But stepping back and looking at it, dude, all the panels, almost all the panels, except for the cab corner, are now connecting. Yeah. It's also crazy how much different it looks from this direction versus standing back where you're at and looking this way. Obviously, with the light coming from this direction, it looks a lot different, but dude, it's it's coming along now. Light show, light show. <laughs> Make them flash too. Look at the underglow. So many, oh, oh my oh. God. <laughs> Look at the grill. Look at the hood lighting. See ya. Using the old head over the shoulder technique to switch lanes today because, uh, <laughs> yeah, but. Heading back home right now to finish up some more of the wrap and reassemble the passenger side. Dude, it's so funny how many stairs I'm getting in traffic today. I don't, I don't know if they're looking because the new color or if it's because the truck's an undone mess right now. We got the truck kind of like partially wrapped still with the mirror not assembled and stuff like that. I don't really know. I'm gonna go with the, uh, the new color though. And dude, it's crazy how similar, or not how similar, but it looks just like if you were to mix the Solar Octane with the new Terra color. It's the mixture of the two. If those two colors had a baby, it's it's the amber right here. It's crazy how it like, looks so much similar to both at the same time. I was gonna pull in that parking lot, but uh, you're making it a little tough for me there, Tesla. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's the side of the road you're supposed to drive on, but hey, go ahead. Wait for it, wait for it. Shoot. Dang, I can't get over how much this wrap changes. Every angle is so different. It's insane, obviously it's not done yet we have the cab corner still to do the upper pillar there the lower rocker and then obviously throw on the fender flares and the hood badge and stuff like that but dude the color is absolutely insane i have a question for you guys now let's just say theoretically i'm going with the bigger tire right and theoretically if i were to go 37s just just i'm just speaking theoretically right if i were to go 37s do you guys think we should run an 18 again or a 17 inch wheel i kind of like the idea of a 17 on 37 but is that too little wheel for the tire size I'm not too sure. I think 17s look great on a 35, but should we do 17s if, if we were to do 37s, do we do a 17 on a 37 is the question. Let me know. I think Sean's truck looks amazing on the 17s on 35s. It almost looks like a 37 inch tire setup. If we were to do 37s, do we do 17s or 18s? Let me know. All right guys, before I finish out the rest of the passenger side tonight, and then I'll finish out the left side actually tomorrow. I've been pretty busy the last couple of days, so it's been a little behind the schedule. I'm, I'm pretty behind on this whole wrap project, but I'll get it all done tomorrow. But anyways, that being said, I want to read some of the comments on Instagram and on YouTube. That way we're not acknowledging just the haters in the room. So I definitely have to admit that even though I'm not a fan of the wheels, the wrap job you're doing is great. You have a talent when it comes to wrapping a vehicle. Thank you, I appreciate that. Definitely took a lot of practice to get it perfect. And you guys were asking me, you know, how hard is rap? It's not hard once you get down, like with anything, once you practice, practice makes perfect, so. Then again, I've also met people that are very uncoordinated and are great at many things in life, but never can get good at doing things like this. So it's, it's really hard to answer the question of, is it hard? Um, because there's probably things you're good at doing that I can never do. Uh, everyone acquires the talent to do certain things in life. Truck mods have turned out amazing. Looking forward to future videos. I always preach, uh, appreciate those comments. I love I love seeing people look forward to the next video. It's always awesome. New wrap looks great. Can you wrap your wheels too so they're less ugly? 
I'll probably just buy some new ones. With every truck that you have done, I see the wrap on the roll and think, nah, this won't look good. Then you wrap it and wow, amazing. I think this is the best yet. You are an artist, which is why, probably why there is so much uh, disagreement in the industry. Artists never get along. Watching you and the time and detail you put into it makes me hesitant to get my truck wrapped for the fear they won't do it ne nearly as well as you would. Keep the videos coming, great job. Thank you so much for that. And yeah, you're right, honestly on the rolls, it never looks the same. It depends on the car you put it on. For example, blue wrap I had initially. I mean, I know some people never liked it at all. Depends on what car you put it on. Some colors you can pull off on certain cars that you can't pull off on another one because it's just not the right car for that color. The truck being set up the way it is, it's got the beefy mudstream tires on it. You know, it's lifted up a little bit you know any color that you throw on this truck for the most part I think it could pull it off pretty well as we're putting the same color on like a stock you know little Hyundai the look of the wrap is totally different so it depends on the vehicle you put it on for sure if I can't wait to see the finished reveal it's gonna look so sick everything except the wheels instead of responding to haters you should pay attention and use your energy to the people who actually enjoy your videos and reply back to them once in a while new wrap color looks banging I honestly don't respond to every single comment only because I just don't pay attention to my phone enough Enough. If I did, I would pay attention to more of the good comments, but when I see them, um, I, I, I really appreciate them. And that's why I'm making this part of the video is to show love to all of the love I get in the comment section, which is always awesome. So thank you guys for that. And keep doing you. Let the haters keep hating. Every job you do is the heat. So I'm talking about right there. Curious if you remove the factory rocker clear bra parts or if you wrap over them, the clear bra parts on the truck, like right here, um, I wrap over it. So clear bra stays on the truck and I bought a wrap over that. So not a problem at all. Looks so sweet, amazing work. Subscribe, thank you, user SR1EP3. I can understand that others wrap differently than you. You should look at those comments as a way to teach. You demonstrate through your videos and there is no design in the results, proofs in the pudding. I would say you are, an, uh, you are an authority on this subject and one to learn from. I appreciate that. I've been wrapping cars, my own cars, for quite some years. I wrapped my first car in 2018, actually, so that was my GMC Canyon All-Terrain X. I wrapped it in Satin Dark Gray by 3M, and it came out amazing. That was always the color I wanted so bad because it's just so clean. That color looks good on literally any car, and at the time, though, I was working at a detail shop. That was a big year, by the way. 2018 was like probably the biggest year for me in a lot of ways. I got my very first apartment, a studio apartment, bought my first brand new truck, that GMC Canyon, and uh, I, I really didn't have a lot of money to my name at all and buying that first roll of vinyl wrap was actually pretty huge to me because wrap's not super cheap. Covers in the ballpark of like six, seven hundred dollars and uh, and then tax. So a pretty penny for me to spend on a roll of wrap for my truck, but just went for it because it was something I always wanted to do. And uh, yeah, so that was my first time wrapping. Not anything. I wrapped my car before that too. I wrapped my Audi A4, but I had like before the truck, a couple cars before that truck and it came out pretty good. I bought some cheaper, like no name brand stuff from eBay, but it came out pretty good. So I found myself to have kind of a natural like talent doing vinyl wrap. It didn't come out great, but it wasn't bad whatsoever. So with some practice, another year or so of doing it, I got pretty proficient in wrapping some cars. So that's where it all started. But anyways, yeah, thank you for the, uh, the good comment. I'll definitely do my best to always give you guys some pointers on, you know, doing some stuff at home. I know not everyone's on the channel here to watch, you know, a video on how to wrap their car. Some pointers here and there definitely will keep doing, so. Shout out to Paul Henderson. Do you always comment on pretty much every video when I see the comments? You're always in there and I appreciate your comments. Paul said, Mark, that is the best color wrap you have ever done. It looks amazing in the bright sun and I'm not into vehicle wrapping. My truck sits outside 24 seven, so wrapping it would not be a good idea. And that's a good point to bring up too is if your car sits outside every single day, probably not ideal for you. Most wraps I see last probably about four to five years here in California um, on cars that, you know, see some garage time and aren't outside every single day. If you're out in Arizona or some like hotter climate, then it's definitely not gonna last anywhere near as long. Bond wraps do require a bit of, you know, a bit of maintenance really. You know, you've gotta get stuff off them sooner than later. If I were to go and hit a mud pit and get mud splash off on the side of the truck here. I want to get it off ASAP without letting it sit in the sun and bait the mud stains onto the wrap pretty much. How much wrap does a new Tundra take? So I have a full roll, a 75 foot roll. That's a full roll of, of, uh, of wrap material. It's gonna take me probably almost the entire roll, maybe five or 10 feet less. But yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll take just about the entire roll. I'll let you guys know how much uh, wrap I end up using at the very end. Dude, I love this color. Come to Tennessee and wrap mine. You are the man. Nah, David, you are the man. I appreciate the love, dude. Jose said, dude, you're awesome. 
that right there is awesome right there. That, those comments right there are so cool. Like there's, there's nothing more to it than showing some love. That's all there is to it. And I appreciate those comments a lot. Thank you to Jose Juarez. Stupid question, but how important is the direction of the wrap from panel to panel? Not a stupid question whatsoever. It's actually very important because um, if a wrap is directional and you don't do it the right direction, it, it'll look a lot different when the sun hits it especially. You guys can see right here. On the back of the film, there's little arrows right there. Direct all the wrap the same direction all the way around the truck so the color stays consistent. Now heading over to the Instagram. This is truly what fall feels like. You got that right. It's the color of the autumn leaves right here. What's the durability on this? So the durability of wrap, depending on, you know, what you're referring to, if we're talking about like against weather and stuff like that, I mean, it, if, if you're in a really hot climate, kind of like I mentioned earlier, if you're in a hot climate, it'll definitely age your wrap quite a bit quicker. Heat definitely does a number on the wrap. That's, that's probably a big one for sure. You get birds droppings on your wrap and stuff like that. If you get mud splatter kicked up on it, you know, you gotta, you gotta tend to that sooner than later. Otherwise it could wrap or it could stay in your wrap because wrap is pretty porous when you have a matte finish especially or a satin finish. So stuff like that should be addressed relatively soon. As far as durability goes, if you were to take a handful of rocks and just throw it at the, at the wrap pretty good, I mean, it's, it's still gonna go through your wrap pretty good. I think if it were to chip your paint without wrap on there at all, um, it's gonna it's gonna chip your wrap too. But just day to day stuff, I mean, wrap is very durable. It's it's relatively thick, not as thick as clear bra. You're not gonna get the same protection, uh, you know, that clear bra can offer on your paint because um, clear bra is thicker. You know, it's self healing. It deflects debris better. So not gonna protect your paint as much, and it will still chip if you you know have some debris come up on the highway and hit your front end pretty good. So it's durable, but not like insanely durable. Do you ever worry that you'll nick the paint when cutting away the wrap? Not at all, because I keep the direction of the blade at the right angle, kind of away from the panel I'm cutting on to make sure that I'm not going to snag the paint. So no, I don't worry about that at all. Heads will be turning. You got that right. And next might be, might be a little sore actually too. Beautiful color and excellent work. Thank you so much. It's a great color. Excellent choice. Thank you so much. A good wrap job is worth its weight in gold. I appreciate that. Can't wait till it's done. This might be my favorite wrap yet. That's awesome to hear. Looks amazing. Wow. Thank you very much. This color is literally fire. I agree. Very talented bra. Looks amazing, dude. Thank you so much. It's awesome to hear. Man, I'm loving this color, dude. I love how everyone loves this color. That's so, that's, that's just awesome to hear. I'm glad you guys are loving it. Cool to enjoy, you know, this with you guys too. So I'm glad, I'm glad you guys are loving it. It's awesome. Bro, you make it look so easy. I'm too scared, LOL. Honestly, just buy some practice material. Wrap's actually very forgiving. When you're laying down a panel, Say for example, if, if I'm laying down the wrap here on the bedside and I mess it up, I wrinkle it, whatever, you can pull the wrap up and then heat it up and it gets rid of all of the issues you just put into the wrap, like all the creases and, and stuff like that. So honestly, don't be scared. You can retry the same film like 10 times over and over. Thank you guys so much. All those comments are awesome. I don't pay a lot of attention to the comments. I do when I get a chance to, but Sometimes it's a little polarizing because a lot of the comments tend to be just kind of like negative Nancy's. A lot of them are love. And I'm not too bothered by the bad comments. I really don't care about them. When I see them come in, I just think it's kind of funny how someone can take time out of their day to come to someone's page that they follow and, and, and engage in all their content in a negative way. You guys mentioning, hey, address the wheels. I don't like the wheels at all. Like that, that's, I appreciate those things right there. Like give me some constructive criticism here because I do always take that in and I, you know, I, I, I would love to do something with that. And, you know, I've definitely taken that into consideration when deciding to go with some new wheels. I, I do love all of the comments that are honest and whatnot, but the ones that are just straight up like, you just suck, I'm just like, I've never just been like, you suck on someone's page. Even though I see someone's content, I'm like, this, sucks I, I i just don't see me going you suck but regardless it's awesome to see all your guys feedback i'm sorry i don't get back to everyone's comments but i appreciate all of the ones that i do see like the ones i just read all of right now are awesome to see thank you guys all for the love and support also guys don't forget to drop your comments down below on what you guys think we should do if now remember if we do some bigger tires if we go 37s do we do 18s again or do we do 17s on a 37 if we were to go 37. I'm just simply asking for a friend, that's all. So drop down in the comments down below. That right there is all I have for you guys for today. Again, thank you guys all for the love and you know all the great comments just in general. In the meantime, that's all I have for you guys for today. See you guys soon. Till then, peace.